Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi MS Semantics. Today we have very interesting questions 3 to the x plus 3 to the x equal to 5 and we need to find our x. If you have your solution, your answer, you can also write your solution down into the comment section and in a few minutes we will check your answer so it will be it will be really interesting. So first of all let's rewrite our question. So what do we have 3 to the x plus 3 to the x plus 3 to the x equal to equal to five and right now for example let's check by, by inspection real quick maybe we are like a lucky people right here let's do this for example x equal to x equal to zero so let's do this as a result we have we have three to the power zero plus three to the power zero we need to be equal to five but in our case we have one plus one equal to two maybe x equal to one is a root so we have x equal to one let's do this so we have three to the power one <coughs> plus 3 to the power 1 equal to 3 plus 3 equal to 6. So as you can see, it's not 5. We really need 5, but we have 2 and we have 6. So it looks like our answer is between 0 and 1. As you can see, our inspection method is not good for us. We didn't uh, solve it. We didn't find a root. So right now, let's try to solve it according to algebraic rules, according to algebraic laws. First of all, let's, let's for example, add 3 to the x plus 3 to the x. How can we add it? 3 to the x plus... 3, 3 to the x equal to 5. A lot of students are confused how can we add this 3 to the x plus 3 to the x, but we don't need it. Let's factor it. For better understanding, let's factor it. So we have 3 to the x and inside parentheses we have from here 1 and from here 1. So we have 1 plus 1 equal to equal to 5. Okay, I want to show you another really tricky move. For example, you, you need to add 3 to the x plus 3 to the x, but you don't know how can you do this, you forget a little bit about algebra. So just imagine 3 to the x equal to, um, equal to, for example, let's change it to, for example, as t, and 3 to the x is also t. So when we add t plus t, this is equal to 2t. So we just have, we need to double it. So we have 3 to the x, 3 to the x, as when we add it, we have 2t, so 2 times 3 to the power x. And in our case, we have absolutely the same with this method, so we have 3 to the x times 1 plus 1 equal to 2, and this is equal to equal to 5. Right now, let's divide both sides by this 2. We don't need it. Let's try to group our constant on the left side and our variables on the right side. So let's divide both sides by, by 2. What do we have right here? We have 3 to the x times 2. We're going to divide by 2 our left side equal to 5 divided by 2. From here we can easily cancel it and as a result what do we have? 3 to the x on the left side. So we have 3 to the x equal to equal to 5 equal to 5 half. Of course we can easily find this question right now or find this x in your calculator. We can easily uh, apply a lock on both sides but I want to show you how can we solve this question completely full and algebraically. Let's do this. First of all let's apply log on both on both sides. As a result we have log of 3 to the power x equal to log of 5 of 5 half. Right now, this x will come down right here according to a basic log property. So we have log a right here, we have b. So this b we can easily write right here in terms of this, uh, in terms of this uh, property. So right here we have base of c, for example. Yeah. So we have a b log a base of base of c. So right now this x will come down right here. So as a result, we have x log 3, x log 3 equal to log equal to log 5 half. And right now, really important property, you can easily learn it, you can easily look at this property. Whenever we have a fraction right here, so whenever we have log a over b, we can easily write it as log a minus log minus log b. Okay, we can easily write it in terms of subtraction. So we have multiplication, we have addition. So multiplication goes to addition, and fraction division goes to goes to subtraction. Okay, extremely important property, and let's apply this right here. So as a result, we have x log three, x log three, equal to log five, log five minus log two minus log, and the final tricky move. Let's divide both side by this by this log three. So as a result, we have x equal to we have log 5, we have log 5 minus log 2, and we divide all of this stuff by log 3. Log 3. And this is our answer because each of these elements are constant, so we can easily mm, solve this question like that. Right now I'm going to show you how can you solve this, how can you find uh, the approximately value. For example, you know a little bit about logs, you know that log, um, log for example, this 5, log 5 base of 10, equal to 0 0.699 you know a little bit about it you know about log uh, 2 base of 10 this one equal to 0 0.301 and of course maybe you know about log, log 3 so log 
base of 10 right here 3 equal to 0 0.477 when you know it maybe you you allow to use calculator to find this uh, log on your exam then you can easily find approximately answer so x approximately equal to right here what do we have 0 0.699 minus let's do this okay 0 0.699 or we can easily write uh, the final fraction. Let's do this like that. So we have right here 0 0.0.6834. I have my, on my calculator right now. So 0 0.834. This is our cor correct answer. I don't want to plug in it. This is a correct uh, approximately answer to our uh, to our question. So let's do this. Let's write this uh, final answer once more. So our answer to this question. So our answer to this question. This is our x equal to log 5 minus log 2 minus log 2 and of course we're going to divide it by log log 3 this is our answer for example in, if you sit in on your exam you don't allow to use calculator this is absolutely great a uh, great answer to this question and if you uh, if you allow to use a calculator so x approximately equal x approximately equal to 0 0.0.8348 34 this is a correct a correct answer correct answer to this question so we're gonna check it so we have 3 to the power 0 0.834 plus 3 to the power 0 0.834 equal to 5 and I hope you you're gonna check it everything will be will be great I guess and in the beginning we had really interesting a really interesting tricky move because in the beginning we had that our answer is between 0 and 1 because 0 is less than 5 and 1 is bigger than 5 when we check x equal to 1 we get 6 so 6 is greater than 5 2 is less than 5 so as you can see our answer is between these 0 and 1 and as you can see our answer right here we have 0 0.8 three four which is a correct a correct answer to this question so i really hope you understand my explanation right now you can see a graph you can see these uh, points of intersection which is also really great like to see this question from uh, from geometric perspective and right now i'm going to show you a few really important tricks so these uh, tricks include this uh, uh, question so for example we have <clears throat> in the beginning we had three to the x plus three to the x equal to 5 okay in the beginning we had it 3 to the x plus 3 to the x equal to 5 but right now for example you have something uh, like that so we have for example 5 to the power y plus 5 to the power y and plus 5 to the power y and a lot of students are confused how can we add it how can we add this uh, how can we add this expression so 5 plus 5 to the power y plus 5 to the power y plus 5 to the power y as i told before we're gonna do the really interesting tricky move we're gonna can we're gonna call it as for example uh, t yeah this is also t this is also t so as a result we have t plus t plus t equal to 3t so right here we have we have 3t and in our case t equal to 5 to the power y so we have 3 times 5 to the power y or another approach also really great because i don't know why but a lot of students don't understand how can we how can we add it correctly so a lot another expression so we have 5 to the power y and inside parentheses we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 so we have 1 plus 1 and plus one equal to three so as a result we have absolutely the same thing this is like a trick for you this is not our question today but i, I see that a lot of students <clears throat> solve this question absolutely incorrect and they forget about uh, this uh, this move uh, yeah this is my explanation to this question i really hope you understand it i really hope you learn something new but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have a lot of questions on my youtube channel I have a lot of a lot of more than like 300 videos on my youtube channel uh, unique videos i uh, give my best to to make this video so i really hope you you enjoy it i really hope to see your respond in the comment section it's really important and extremely important for me it's not hard for you to write your response what do you think about it what do you think about this content because i try to find a lot of really interesting olympiad question a lot of entrance examination question and i hope you i hope you enjoy it it's not that hard to be honest uh, to to, to to do this but i give my best to to make any content every day so i really hope you you enjoy it so also write your note about this question write your note about this about this question down into the comment section what do you think about it write your approximately answer you can easily check it you can easily see these uh, points of intersection down into the comment section it's also it's also it's also really great so thank you for your time wish all the best take care of yourself also love mass try to find something new try to learn new formula try to understand a little bit mass because this is basic mass this is not a high 
higher, higher mathematics, to be honest. This is basic math with log with with basic factoring. So I really hope you, I really hope you enjoy it. So take care of yourself. Love math. Also write your notes down into the comment section. Write your other, what do you think about this type of question down into the comment section. And thank you for everything. Thank you for watching me. I have like uh, the first video was in 2023. Right now we have 2025. So it's also really great to see uh, how long we we go. How many questions we're gonna we're gonna make on this channel so it's it's really great i really appreciate your support i really appreciate for watching my videos it's 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 of kind of you and it's really important for me so wish all the best in your life take care of yourself and have a great day see you in the next videos